Hi, I hope you're going to enjoy learning how to solve exponential equations with logarithms. Okay, cool. About that. Okay, uh, before we start, let's just go over the basics. Okay, we have that this is the exponential equation, um, and this is that same equation, but as a logarithm. Okay, so it's the same base. Okay, now what used to be the answer now becomes the input. And what used to be the input now becomes the answer or the output. Okay, now you then see that this is an ideal way for us to solve for x, to get x on its own. Because if my unknown is in the exponent, then a logarithm writes that unknown as the subject of the formula. But that's what logarithms do. Okay? There's one more rule or logarithmic law that is going to be very useful in this process, and that is that when I have a logarithm with any base, say base A, but inside the logarithm I have um, as an input a base with some sort of exponent, let's call it N, then that exponent may be multiplied to the front. In other words, I can have N log, I keep the base and the input space as well. Okay. In other words, if there is an exponent in my input, that exponent may be multiplied to the front. Okay, now let's use these to do some uh, examples. Here's an example where we asked to solve for x. And the question gives us 7 to the power of x is equal to 50. Now we know 7 to the power of 2 will be equal to 49. But this is 50. So x will be bigger than 2, but not much bigger. Okay, so we can definitely not try any whole number in there. It doesn't seem to work. Okay, so uh, we'll use logarithms. Okay, so one way in which you can do it is you can write it as a log with base 7. The answer of 50 is equal to the exponent. That's the basic... Uh, definition of logarithms. Now some calculators does have the functionality to actually, it, it, the button usually looks like this. Okay, a log and then there's a little block and a block like that. Okay, and when you type it in you can um, type in the 7 and the base and the 50 on the inside. So the 7 you'll type in here and the 50 you'll type in there. But not all calculators do, but all scientific calculators does have a log base 10. Now, the base 10 we don't write. And when we work with logarithms, base 10 we do not have to write. Okay, since that is the case, since all calculators has a log function, what I can do in this expression, or to solve that equation, is as follows. Okay, I can consider 7 to the power of x. Now let's take that 7 to the power of x and put it inside log of base 10. So we make it the input of log base 10. Okay, so we don't need to write the base 10. Now, what is 7 to the power of x equal to? It's equal to 50. Which means, if I put 7 to the power of x into a logarithm with base 10, I'll get the same answer as when I put 50 in there. Because the inputs are exactly the same. 7 to the power of x is 50. That's what we have here in the beginning. 
And now I can use this rule that I explained earlier is going to be so useful. Let's see how that is useful. Since as an input I have 7 to the power of x, the x may be multiplied in the front. So I get x times log base 10, I don't have to write of 7, is equal to, and on this side let's just leave it as log 50. And now I see my x used to have been an exponent, but now it has become a coefficient or actually a factor. So to get x on its own, I just need to uh, divide away what is being multiplied. And that log 7 is going to divide, but what I do on the left, I do on the right. Log 7. And here I see I've got now my x on its own. So that I have, oh, sorry, I have x is equal to log 50 divided by log 7. So let's evaluate that answer. Right over. 50 log is 1 comma 6 something something and divided by 7 log gives me 0 comma 84 for log 7 and then my total answer is or my final answer actually is 2 comma 0 1 0 3 so 2 comma zero one zero three and we've rounded it off so let's just use uh, curly equal signs okay they're quite ugly but my curly equal signs since we've rounded off did I round off correctly oh zero one zero three eight so it's actually zero one zero four There we go, that's one way of doing it.